Hi, how are you? I've done some extensions for the Holbach motor and I would like to demonstrate methods for tuning and testing the performance. I will send the motor to flight test and hopefully they will make it fly. In my earlier video there were many comments about balancing the motor. In fact I was lucky that my first motor was well balanced. In order to balance the Holbach rotor without the stator I've created this simple wheel printed with light grey PETG. The wheel can be inserted into the large ball bearing instead of the stator. After assembling the rotor, including all the magnets, it is placed onto two parallel and horizontally aligned rails. I'm using some spare 8mm shafts. As you can see, the rotor slowly starts rolling on its own and swings forth and back. After a while it will stop and the heavier side is pointing downwards. Small screws are inserted into the holes at the top as a counterweight. I recommend to insert the same weight on both sides of the rotor. Please note that this method is a static balancing method. Dynamic balancing is much more sophisticated and requires very advanced tools. But the holes on both sides of the rotor would be very useful for dynamic balancing. Some experimenting is needed until it's well balanced but then it will rotate a lot smoother. Initially I drilled those holes for the little weights into the 3D printed part, but now I've also updated the 3D design. I will make sure that all the modified 3D files are available for you. After assembling the motor with its proper stator, I would like to demonstrate the drill press method for measuring the velocity constant Kv. Actually I'm using an electric drill for that. Fix the shaft, let it spin as fast as possible and measure the AC voltage between two of the three leads at the motor. Also the rotation speed of the drill needs to be measured. Ideally the motor would need to be attached but I only have two hands. Finally a simple formula is needed for KV. In my case, it's roughly 350 rotations per minute per volt. The most interesting measurement is certainly the efficiency. Hopefully there is not much power lost when transforming electrical power into mechanical power. The torque is a value which needs to be known for this calculation. So I have constructed this rotating motor mount, which is, of course, 3D printed. The motor is fastened to a piece which has a long wooden lever. Actually there are two movable pieces which are like a big shaft inside two large ball bearings. Certainly I would have used my new parametric and 3D printable slew bearing. I've presented it in another video, but at the time when I made this rotating motor mount, I didn't yet have such a cool slew bearing. In order to prevent that it accidentally twists the leads, I've added a screw to reduce the moving angle. Since I like to see this motor on a plane, I made a variation on the color which fixes directly the propeller. I recommend a pusher configuration because the load on the bearings is better and the motor has a higher chance to survive if the plane crashes. The wooden lever is 20 cm long and directly connected with the stator. It needs to be perfectly horizontally aligned. Finally, a vertical rod is pushing on the kitchen scales. For executing the efficiency test I'm moving outdoor. While the motor is not yet spinning, the scale is stirred with the weight of the lever and the rod. When the motor starts, its torque is countering the air resistance of the propeller. That force is measured with the scales. I'm using the same 14 inch propeller like in my earlier tests, but this time I let it spin in its designated direction. This reduces the drag by 20 to 30 percent. Torque is the product of force and lever and with the current setup it is a bit more than half a newton meter. 
Running at full power, also the voltage and the current at the side of the battery is measured. Six LiPo cells in series provide 22 amps and 22 volts. Finally I'm measuring the rotation speed, it's about 6800 RPM. The copper winding is a bit different compared to the first version. It only has three turns instead of four, but the wires are much thicker. Overall it has 20% more copper. The input power from the battery is 480 watt. The formula for the shaft power is basically a product between torque and rotation speed. It's around 380 watt. 100 watt are lost. This means 80% of the electrical input power is transformed into mechanical power. The lost power is basically heating up the ESC and the copper wires. There were several comments if the stator would melt because it's only plastic. The integrated ventilation system cools down the stator. At full power the temperature increases to 40 degrees Celsius with an ambient temperature at 27 degrees Celsius. The motor can certainly handle a larger propeller than used in this test, maybe 15 or 16 inch. Now I'm packing this 3D printed Holbeck motor into a box and I will ship it to the flight test guys. I love their way of experimenting with all kind of flying objects and they make really cool videos. I'm very curious what flight test can make with this motor.